Hello friends, welcome to Osiris Studios. I hope you're all doing great. For anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee and in today's video, we're gonna be going over all the details you need to know about transferring egg moves in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So with the introduction of Sword and Shield in Generation 8, we had a brand new mechanic that was present in those games. It made passing egg moves, obtaining egg moves a lot easier. In the past, what we have known is if a Pokemon wants an egg move, you're going to have to breed that egg move from a Pokemon that knows it onto another Pokemon that doesn't know it to produce the egg, which will have the egg move. It was a long winded process and made for a lot of headaches with a lot of breeding projects. There were situations myself even having where I'd breed a competitive Pokemon, get the flawless IV, level it up, EV it up, get it ready. And then remember right at that final stage, it needs an egg move and there was no way for me to get the egg move on that Pokemon so I had to start the whole process again but like I say when we got Sword and Shield we got the ability to transfer egg moves from one Pokemon to another as long as they were the same species the same type of Pokemon so it had to be a Torchic and Torchic it had to be a Charizard and a Charizard it had to be a Pikachu and a Pikachu it couldn't be a Pikachu and a Raichu if you get what I mean, they have to be the same type of Pokemon and then they can transfer the, the egg moves between them. So long gone are the days where you waste a whole breeding project, getting something ready and then realize right at the last minute, I didn't breed the egg move onto it because there are ways around that now. And although these mechanics were not included in the original Diamond and Pearl games, they have thankfully been transferred over to Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna talk about egg moves and how you can go about transferring them on Onto your Pokemon to get the most out of them in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Now the first resource that I'm going to show you is Cerebi.net. Now Cerebi has information about every single Pokemon, all their move pools, all their egg moves and abilities and information that you could need. So this is why I'm referring in the video. Link to Cerebi will be down in the description below. I'm sure a lot of you use it already but it is my kind of go-to utility when I am doing these sort of projects and I've brought up Chimchar here today because this is the example that we'll be using for the guide you can transfer these methods onto any pokemon now what we want to do is you can obviously see the chimchar here it's got all its ability details it's got its type in its weaknesses its standard move pool so you can see what it learns on its kind of level up standard pool and all the tms that it can learn as well and below this section is where the egg moves are and these are all the egg moves that chimchar can learn that you'll be able to get eventually onto your infernip when it does evolve and the importance of egg moves on any pokemon is the ability to kind of enhance them competitively like if you take something like infernip it has access to you can see here fake out is an egg move whereas before if you just had it standard set, it's not going to have access to that. So it's roles in a team completely changed just with that one move. You can lead Infernip a lot more freely in battles competitively with that fake out where you know you can kind of disrupt an opponent's first turn. Uh, there are other examples as well, like Encore. Normally it wouldn't learn that. Uh, you can transfer it on then because Infernip's got such a high speed stat it is going to be able to take advantage of a move like encore and pokemon that protect in front of it set up in front of it have to be a little bit more careful in case they get caught out because of that so this is what i mean it does enhance that pokemon's original move pool and really pushes them forward in a competitive sense now it doesn't need to necessarily just be a competitive sense why you're doing this you could be doing it to kind of get your dream team for the elite four or cynthia or something like that or just a kind of casual friendly battle but the thing is every pokemon does have access to egg moves on nearly every Pokemon. So this is just a really good resource for you to kind of come to reference and um, get all the information that you need. Once you've found an egg move that you you, you want to uh, breed onto your Pokemon or transfer onto your Pokemon, what you're gonna have to do is normally in most cases, just click on the move on Cerebi. It'll take you through to the details of the particular egg move and everything that learns it just as a standard level up move um, and then everything that can learn it as an egg move. So you've got a few options here with what will breed with this Pokemon. So you could breed Chimchar with a Mr. Mime to get fake out if the Mr. Mimes learn fake out through its normal 
evolution line it's 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 level up line you know so there are a lot of options there are other options where if you've already got an egg move like fake out on something like raichu then if you've got a, a male raichu then you can breed that with a female chimchar and the egg move should breed down but that isn't transferring moves we're talking about transferring moves between two pokemon but that just gives you an overview of egg moves and how to initially get them onto a pokemon so for the rest of the guide we're going to jump into game now, the first place that I want to show you, there are a couple of NPCs that are going to be quite important to being able to transfer moves. One of them is probably the most important to the whole thing, and that's in Canalab City, and that is the Move Deleter. If you come away from the Pokemon Center and just come to this house, it's just above the Pokemon, come into this house here, and there'll be an old man here, and he's gotten everything but this is the move deleter so uh, you'll say mm, what did you say again dot 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 oh yes i remember now i'm the move deleter uh, you've come to make me force your pokemon to forget some moves so yes that's what we'd like to do so the first pokemon that we're going to have is a chimchar that we caught in the grand underground um, and we're going to get rid of let's get rid of flamethrower because it can learn that on level up anyway so get rid of flamethrower and that is that. And we'll get to the reason why in a moment. So we'll just speak to him again. And we'll go to our other Chimchar. And we're going to get rid of Flamethrower once again. So, why are we doing this, you say? Well, breeding for egg moves is not the only way that you can obtain them in Brilliant Diamond and Shannon Pearl. There is the Grand Underground as well. Now, in the Grand Underground, you are going to have access to a lot of different caverns and a lot of different Pokemon. And a lot of these Pokemon in the caverns are going to have access to different egg moves. Um, and this is a real, real game changer as well, because it means that you're going to have to, you're going to be able to save a lot of steps obtaining Pokemon to try and breed down an egg move. Whereas you can just catch the Pokemon in the cavern or a number of Pokemon in the caverns, and you're going to be able to have an array of different egg moves for that particular Pokemon. Now, if you look here, we have a box of Chimchars and you can see if I just go to the summary of all these Chimchars, you can see that there's one with Fake Out here, there's one with Focus Energy, one with Double Kick, one with Encore, one with Fake Out. So we've got a lot of egg moves just from the five Chimchars that we've got. If we carried on catching Chimchars, you'd be able to cover nearly all of the egg moves that Chimchar can get access to in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. And that goes for the same for most Pokemon that are available in the Grand Underground. So what the reason is for us deleting the moves on these two chimchars is what we need to do first of all before we can transfer any moves onto any pokemon is have that free slot the free slot at the bottom there means that we can transfer a move onto this chimchar and the same goes for this chimchar which is a different variant which is a male variant which has fake out this one has encore so what we're technically going to do is transfer two moves over at once you can just do this with one move if you would like to but you can do this with two moves at once and these are male and female so they should produce an egg as well and that egg should have all of the egg moves that both chimchars have so what we're going to do is go over next to Silesian town and this is the other important place that we'll be doing the egg transferring. So now we're in Silesian Town. What we want to do is head over here, talk to the old man. I think I've got Pokemon in here, so I'm going to have to refuse the egg for the moment. Okay, we cleared out the Pokemon that were in the daycare. And now we are going to put this Chimchar and, well, these Chimchars in. Like I've said before, with transferring egg moves between... Pokemon, what you need to do is have the same exact Pokemon to do it. You can't do it with Chimchar and Monferno or Chimchar and Inferno, but it has to be a Chimchar and a Chimchar. Like a Charizard can transfer with another Charizard. Um, and a Pikachu can transfer with another Pikachu, but a Pikachu can't transfer with a Raichu, and a Pikachu can't transfer with a Pichu. It has to be a Pikachu and a Pikachu. So I hope you get what I mean with this. It cannot be uh, an evolution stage of the same Pokemon. It has to literally be the same Pokemon that you're transferring between. The only prereqs are that you have to have a move slot free in the Pokemon that you want to transfer the move onto. And as long as you're doing that and they are the same type, you put them in the daycare center and you can just go on your way and the, the nature will take its course and um, this will happen so what we're going to do is we're just going to cycle around just here for a little bit and just see see if this this old man provide like gets an egg because it is a male and female chimchar in the daycare as well so i'm hoping we can get the triple whammy here as we can see got the old man he is going to have an egg there so we've got one egg 
that's all going to need for this example and it kind of hits all three things in one the egg move breeding the egg move passing and that is about all you kind of need to know with egg moves and also transferring pokemon moves as well so what we're going to do is just circle around and hopefully get this egg hatched pretty quickly now i'm kind of used to hatching gibbles which is over 5,000 steps with a flame body user in the party so i'm hoping this is not as long a process okay we're finally hatching the egg and it will be the moment of truth can we find out if we've been able to transfer the two egg moves down to this one as well as tr transferring the egg moves between the two chimchars that are in the daycare as well so we should have three chimchars all with a different egg move and that will be a good example to show for this guide so what we need to do is just refuse this egg from the old man and then we can go in and pick up the pokemon that are in the nursery at the minute and we'll be able to see our results so there's one chimchar two chimchar and let's have a look at the results so check summary this is the baby that we've just hatched and we can see it has fake out and on call so that is how you breed moves down onto a pokemon now we're going to take a look at the other pokemon fake out on call brilliant it has worked and then fake out and on call okay so we've got fake out and on call on all three of our chimchars which is perfect you know they've passed down acrobatics and slack off as well but i mean that's fine because their standard move set level up moves but the main ones are going to be the encore and the fake out the encore and the fake out and then the fake out and the encore so it has worked it has been a pretty successful breeding project that one three birds with one stone or three chimchars with one stone so that wraps up about everything I wanted to discuss in this episode. Like I say, you can just transfer this method onto any other Pokemon. Just make sure that when you are transferring egg moves between two Pokemon that they are the same type. And if you need to get an egg move onto a Pokemon before transferring it onto another one, you'll need to go to something like Cerebi, something like Bulbapedia, and then look at the specifics about how that Pokemon gets that specific egg move, where it comes from, then go out and catch the Pokemon. Say it's a Mr. Mime that you want fake out on Chimchar, you go out, catch Mr. Mime, you level it up until it gets fake out, you breed that Mr. Mime, it has to be male with a female Chimchar. Remember when you are breeding that the Pokemon that you want to breed has to be female and then the male has to have the move to pass down to the offspring. Once you got that offspring, that Chimchar baby should have the fake out bred down from the Mr. Mime and then you're going to have a Chimchar that you'll be able to transfer that fake out onto other Chimchars, if that makes sense. But practically that is the whole method and that's the trans transferable method that you'll be able to use on any other Pokemon within Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So friends, I hope you found this guide useful. I hope it has been something that you are going to be able to use practically in the new games and it's going to make life a lot easier for you in a competitive sense. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comment section below and I'm sure I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, if you've enjoyed the video, do hit the like button. It does really go a long way to help the video out. And if you like this sort of content, you want to see more of it, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well so you don't miss any videos when they do drop and um i'll say goodbye because that is the end of the video take care of yourselves and i'll see you all for another video very soon so until then take care bye bye